Hi everyone, Lamisha here from LamishaSurfWalls.com bringing you another Mindset Monday tip for your week. Today's tip is a little bit different than what I typically talk about as it's less about mindset and more about what you need in order to create massive change. What is it that you need to start the process, to start that momentum flowing so that you can really start making massive shifts in your life? Now, mindset is always a part of that, but what's the thing that really gets you going? What creates the choice in your mind to change, right? Now, here's what I found nine times out of 10 from most of my clients. They typically come from one of two ends of the spectrum. They either come from a place of massive discomfort or they come from a place of massive desire. I wanna talk about both ends of the spectrum and what happens when you fall in the middle. But first I wanna talk about what I really mean by massive discomfort. This is that moment where you've kind of hit a rock bottom. You may have gotten a you know, bad report from your doctors telling you you have to lose weight or you have to start working out, you have to make some shifts in your nutrition or else you know, you've got disease or some other terrible thing in your future. Maybe a financial rock bottom where you, know, you have massive debt and you are just overwhelmed with everything that's happening. It may be something else, but there's a level of discomfort that when we hit that moment, we have no choice but to change. We make a decision in our mind. We decide that this is it. I'm not coming back to this place. I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm doing whatever I have to do to transform my life because this is not for me, okay? That's the massive dis discomfort that most people tend to fall into. The other side of the spectrum is massive desire. And what I'm talking about with massive desire, these are those people who have a dream, they're holding on to it, they've thought about it forever, you know, they've had that dream since they were a kid, and this is all they want. They have a hunger, they have a, um, a desire for this thing to happen in their lives. And they are going to do it come hell or high water, nothing is going to get in their way. Now, what I find is that most of us have to get to the massive discomfort in order to create that change than the people that actually come from massive desire. There are a lot of people that have mediocre desires, but not massive desires, okay? So you've got massive discomfort, you've got massive desire. What about all that space in the middle? Because I know there are a lot of you out there that maybe haven't hit rock bottom. You kind of sort of want to maybe lose weight. You kind of sort of want to have more money, but you don't have that fire. You don't have that fuel going, right? And that really is where the majority of people land. For those of us who are in the middle space, you have a choice day in and day out. You have to, if you really want to create a change, you have to focus on your big why. Why is it that it's important for you to get your health back on track? Why is it important for you to make more money? Why is it important for you to start the business, write the book, stand on stage and speak? Why is it important? Because it has to be a bigger feeling than the obstacles that you will potentially face. Now, what I find is that most people that come to me are at some sort of breaking point. They, have, they feel they have no choice but to change or they have that massive desire. But the people that come to me that kind of sort of want to do something, they very rarely take action unless they are so in tune with what their big why is. They want to start the business because they want to create a legacy for their family and for their children, right? They want to write the book because they want to share their story and help support hundreds of millions of men and women across the world. Those are big whys. What is your why? What is your why in terms of what you want to create, what you want to transform, what you want to change in your life? That's the question. And that is the thing that's going to get you started with whatever process that, that you need to do, okay? Now, I am curious, I wanna hear from you. I wanna know where you fall on this spectrum. Are you in a place of massive discomfort and you're ready to, to take the action to make change? Are you in a place of massive desire so you're really working day in and day out to make that dream come true? Or are you somewhere in between? Are you feeling a little bit wishy-washy about what you desire, right? And the, and the actions that it takes to get there. If you are on one of those two ends of the spectrum, 
post your comment below. I want to hear from you. And if you're in the middle, I want to know what you're trying to transform and what your big why is. Your why has to be big enough in order for you to take the consistent action, the in, make the investments in yourself, and to really transform your mindset to create that outcome. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen as easily. Okay, so for those of us who've been thinking about this day in and day out, I want to create this change, I want to get fit, I want to make more money, I want to get out of debt, I really want you to look at this video, replay it if you have to, and ask yourself where you fall on the spectrum, and then make a decision, a powerful decision about what you're going to do from this point forward. Because remember, you always have the power to be, have, and do whatever it is that you choose, but you have to take action. You are in charge of that space. Of course, if you want support, you want a mentor, you want someone to support you with that mindset, send me a message. But until then, I want to hear from you. Post your comments below about where you fall on the spectrum, what your big why is, and I'd love to read them. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I'll be back next week with another Mindset Monday tip for your week. And until then, I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.